Welcome to another edition of Jaguars Men's Basketball on Jaguars Sports Network. Powered by High Level Media Sports Network. Get ready. Pump up your volume as we take you courtside with your host, P.D. Doris. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages. Welcome to Selman, North Carolina, as we have the Guilford Tech Community College Titans matching up with the Johnson Community College Jaguars here on this gloomy Saturday afternoon to close out the homestand for the Jaguars in 2022. The Jaguars come in this game 1-8 and eight on the season and 0-6 oh and in Region 10 play in Division 2 of NJCAA as the Guilford Tech Titans coached by Coach Kurt Chandler with a record of 5-5 five and five overall and 1-4 and four in Region 10 play. We're about 621 from starting action here inside the Richard B. Harrison Gymnasium as we take a look at the visiting Titans. Through nine through 10 games, they averaged 87 points per game, shooting a well 52%. From three, there's 30%. From free throw line, close near 70 at 68. Give it, having 36 rebounds and 14 assists. Leading scorer for the Titans this season is sophomore guard Raquan Key, as he will be a key to a victory tonight as the Titans look to spoil the Jaguars for picking up their home victory to close out the 2022 year. But the Titans come in with two players scratched, the freshman. Xavier Gregory Balson and Omarion Farrar both scratched for today's game. For the Jaguars, they end up losing to Malcolm Daniels with eligibility issues last week. So he was no longer on the team. He has a chance to get back for January. But right now, about five minutes away for tipping off here, we're going to take a quick break. And come right back here inside the Richard B. Harrison Gymnasium in Selma, North Carolina for some NJCAA basketball on this beautiful Saturday afternoon. Right now our country feels divided, but there's a place where people are coming together. I was nervous to talk to someone so different than me. Me too. Love Has No Labels and One Small Step are helping people with different political views, beliefs, and experiences connect through conversation, and it feels good. This conversation gives me hope. It gives me a lot of hope, too. Take a step toward bringing our country and your community together. Start a conversation at lovehasnolabels.com slash one small step. A message from StoryCorps, Love Has No Labels, and the Ad Council. Need a place to manage your investment? Then look no further than Fidelity Investments of Holly Springs. Whether you need to roll over an IRA or open a traditional or Roth IRA, our exceptional guidance and wide range of investment options can help you plan and tell one guidance in person, online, or over the phone. We offer access to powerful tools and comprehensive research. We also offer great value, including no account fees and no minimums to open an account. Maybe you want to talk about mutual funds. Choose from over 10,000 funds, many with no transaction fee. How about brokerage? Zero dollar commission for U.S. stock ETF and options trade. Welcome back here inside Richard B. Harrison Gymnasium. Welcome aboard. I'm Petey Doris. Let's take a look at a visiting Guilford Tech Titans. Through six games, a recent six games, a loss to Southwest Virginia by one, 199. As Central Carolina they dropped the game 90, they won the game 93 79, lost to Fayetteville Tech by 10 on the road, and beat Hosanna College 91 32. And at Lewisburg, they lost 101 to 94. And just this past Wednesday, they picked up the victory 94 to 75 against Central Carolina out of Division I NJCAA. Now let's take a look at your Jaguars. Leading away this season in the scoring column, sophomore guard Casey Perkins averaging 15 points per game. And then 
Guadavian Anderson averaging right below 10 at 9.9 .9 points per game. Then Kamon Green, the sophomore guard, through seven games due to injury, he's putting up eight points per game. Two minutes and 16 seconds to start this action here. The Jaguars average 73 points per game, shooting 41% from the field, 38% from three, 66% from the charity stripe, and 35 rebounds per game with 11 assists. Taking a look at the Jaguars' last six games. A lot of games the Jaguars were in, almost majority of it, the previous six. Against Quatawa Valley, they lost 78-67. Against Mount Olive, they dropped by five, 80-75. Fayetteville Tech, they lost 72-61. Patrick Henry was a one possession loss, 70 to 68. Equitaba Valley last Monday lost 104 to 81. And this past Thursday, they dropped 78 to 66. Jaguars looking to pick up the big victory and spoil the ending for the Titans in 2022. 115 away, we're going to come back with the starting lineups. You're listening to Jaguars basketball on Jaguars. Sports Network. Listen and imagine. It takes five seconds to send a text, and for those five seconds, you're driving blind. Life is worth more than a text. Stay alive. Welcome back to Selma, North Carolina. 35 seconds until we get started here for some NJCAA basketball as we welcome in the Titans from Guilford Tech in James, Jamestown, North Carolina, starting a freshman 5'11 guard, Mikkel Lawson, who averages 4.6 points per game for the Titans. Leading away for the Titans, a 6'7 sophomore, number three, Bryant Wall. A sophomore, six foot three guard, Ra Raquan Key, who averages 17 points per game, number five. And Devontae Moses averages 13 points per game as a sophomore listed at six seven. And number 22, a sophomore, six three guard, Josiah Jenkins, who's averaging 12 points per game. Coach Creasy starting with the familiar starting lineup for the Jaguars. A sophomore, six foot one guard, Kamon Green. A sophomore, six foot four wing, Casey Perkins. A guard, a sophomore, six foot one, Zamir German. A freshman, six foot two wing, Quinavian Anderson, who is at season high was 15 against Quatawa Valley two weeks ago. And starting a sophomore, six foot eight, Darren Lee. As the national anthem is getting played, we're going to take it to the PA. God bless and hope every player out here stays uninjured as we have a great basketball matchup. We'll go ahead and take it to the video here as the Jaguars will be in their home grays with Jags across their chest written in white as the visiting Titans in the Hunter Green. Titans written across their chest in white numbers. Coached by Kurt Chandler who's been at Guilford Tech and he's been around the Region 10 a lot of games in his history books. So starting for Guilford Tech, we'll take it to the PA.
All right, as the players come to the field, the court, the field. As Brian Wall be facing Darren Lee of the Jaguars. First possession will belong to the Jaguars. The Titans set up in a man-to-man -man defense. As Green was picked up and inbound pass. And it's a turnover. Jaguars, first possession, first turnover, opening 15 seconds. Titans, the first offensive possession. There's a loose ball in the stands. They'll take care of that. Titans looking for some action here. Wall will take a three and a nothing but bottom of the net for Wall as he opens up with the first points. Three to nothing, Titans. Anderson popping out and looking for an entry pass inside. Lee could not get loose. So work the ball around the perimeter. High screen by Lee. Green will roll and put a runner up. Could not connect with it. Coming down with a rebound was Lawson. Titans push it ahead. Baseline jumper off the side of the rim. And Titans with another offensive board and wall picking up his fifth point. Five to nothing. One ball, one ball. Three was off the heel of the iron by Perkins. The Titans. Draw a foul, an offensive foul. Anderson taking a charge. He's picking up the foul. Will be on key. Five to nothing early. Open in two minutes. German working the right side as hands off to Perkins. Offense not working inside for the Jags. They'll take a three. Buries the hole for the Jags. Is green. Five to three on the Grumpy Barber scoreboard. Titans cannot get no separation on defense. And it's a turnover. Here come the Jaguars. They turn it right back over to Jenkins. Go inside. Baseline was cut off on the shot. Splits the defenders. Elbow shot off the left side is nothing but nylon for Key. Seven to three. Overshot the rim. The Titans with another rebound. Turnover, Titans. Jaguars with one one possession. They ended up finding the bottom of the net. Help side and going up strong. Nice pass by Green to Perkins and Jaguars trail by one possession, seven to five. Out of bounds, it will go with the Jags. 16.57 left in the first half. Jaguars trail by two with the chance to take the lead in this possession. Green loses it, comes out to Perkins. Green was going back door. Perkins held on to it. Taking his man to the hole and kicks it. 
Six on the shot clock. Green driving and it's punched out from behind. Here comes Wall on the offense. Wall looks ahead and it's nothing but an easy layup for Key. That's his fourth point. Nine to five. Two possession game for the Titans. The Jags spinning around. German going into paint, drawing a foul. And no, is a travel on German as he spun off of the screen. 16 to 13, 9 to 5. Jenkins double dribbled and he knew it. Did not want to pick up the ball. It was a turnover. Titans. It's Titans' fifth turnover of the half. Sixteen oh seven left. German looking for some help. Pop it out and a fifteen footer rattles home for the Jaguars and Perkins. Perkins fourth point. Nine to seven. Wall with a little bunny on the inside. And Wall seventh point. 11 to seven. And Lee was fouled. Picking up the foul, foul was Bryant Wall. His first trip to the charity stripe. Lee, a 58% free throw shooter on the season. Splits the two free throws and coming down with the rebound was Wall. Wall with the 15 footer and powering with the rebound into Jaguars. Green in offense. Surrounded by nothing but the Hunter Green jerseys of the Titans. Anderson spins. Nice pass. Is out of bounds. Just by the hands of Green. Hey, three out. Demo Bryant. Three out. Demo Bryant. Come on, get in there. Look baseline. Look flash. Three on the ways. Nothing but nylon for Lawson. That's his first three. This is 14 to 8, Titans. Anderson's long two, and with a big rebound, two handed grab over the hands of Lee was Wall. Jenkins for three, finds the bottom of the net on the three. Hurry, hurry, hurry. 17 to 8. Nice hit out by Lawson. Work baseline to Jenkins. Jenkins will take it and slam it home. Jenkins with the two hand with the one handed slam. 19 to 8. Jenkins with his fifth point. Lee working inside a wall and going up and picking up the easy bucket. Stopping the bleeding. 19 to 10. Three by Wall. No one there but Anderson with the rebound. 13.52 left. Coming up on a media timeout. German takes it, drops it off the a Jaguar, and Lee was not ready for it. Wall coming out with it. Wall taking it, going inside in an easy layup. And Coach Creasy calls a timeout. 21 to 10. The Titans in open in six minutes. Lead by 11. You're listening to Jaguars basketball on Jaguars Sports Network. It takes five seconds to send a text, and for those five seconds, you're driving blind. Life is worth more than a text. Stay alive. Don't text and drive. Visit StopTextStopRex.org, a message brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. 
Welcome back, Jaguars trail the Titans 21 to 10. On a 10 to three run. And Perkins, the shot's blocked. Welcome back as we had a problem with the power. Someone kicked our power source. So welcome back, 27 to 10. Jaguars with the ball, trailing by 17. Jaguars stop the bleeding off of it. run by the Titans. All alone down low was Moses. 29-12, 12.05 left. German stabbed out from behind. Check it in his underhill. So he'll check in for Moses. Eight turnovers by the Jags. Go ahead, you did. Go ahead. Lawson turns it right in the hands of Green, and Green putting a body on Lawson and draws the foul. So Green will head to the free throw line. Makes the first. Second free throw is good also. Defense by the Jaguars, taking them one on two and going up strong was Jenkins for his seventh point. 31 to 14. Jaguars looking for some offense. German goes down low, baseline jumpers, no good. And Joseph. So J Jenkins with nine points, 33-14. Benjamin for three off the corner. And Ten forty-four left. A substitution check it in. Samir checks in. As long as Lee. Lee will check in for Johnson. Jaguars looking to come into play. The lob it in to Lee, and Lee's three-footer was good. 33-16. As Jenkins. 
three was out of bounds on the miss off the Jags. Underhill will take a three himself and find nothing but points at the bottom of that one. 36 to 16. 15 to six run by the Titans. Green kicks it to Lee and Lee travels. Ninth turnover. By the Jags, 36-16. Benjamin on Jenkins, Underhill. Looking inside and it's scrapping on the floor is Underhill and the Jags. Got a jump ball. So Jenkins will have a seat as Lawson checks in. 10 minutes left in the first half, 36 to 16. Titans run the inbounds pass. Looking to lob it in. Great defense by the Jags and stabbing it out was Benjamin. Right in the hands of the Titans, and he misses the easy baby hook. Key missing the hook. Green taking himself. Bucket is good. 36 to 18. Come on, Dow. We're too much down here. My guy got eight points. Green looking for an old fashioned and one and makes it. Wall looking for some help. Underhill popping out. They run an offensive set. And we have a blocking foul on Zamir. Correction, it was on Zamir German. So Key and Wall will have a seat as Moses and Jenkins checks back in. For the Titans. Jenkins looking to square at the man. Goes underneath. Turn around, hook shot, and it falls for Moses. Perkins cannot connect with that one. Coming down with it was the Jaguars. They'll set up an offensive set with 18 on the shot clock. Green, shots blocked. Coming out with a block was Lawson with a loose ball. Lawson looking inside to Underhill. Underhill, boxing his man down, falls to the floor, tries to get a foul, could not get a foul. Mason looking for a trailing and nice pass for Mason to Perkins. It's Perkins. Loses as he goes up. 38 19, 8 46 left. Samir driving up and under layup, and he draws a foul. Samir, 87 percent free throw shooter on the season. 36 games of play and makes the first. Oh, down here. Look at 40 stay to 18. Correction, 40-19. 
Benjamin looking inside. Samir guarded on Benjamin. They'll spin the ball around the perimeter. Looking for some offensive action. Screen by Perkins. Benjamin for three. Rattles out. Underhill with the rebound. Here come the Titans in that offense. Shooting over 50% in the first half. Scrap it underneath and with the ball, the Jaguars. Is Green on the floor. Benjamin looking for a three and a pull out and waiting for Green. Benjamin straightaway three. Gets it to fall. Forty to twenty-two. Jaguars within eighteen. Underhill standing distance from the goal, puts it on the floor as Mason was need right in the groin by Underhill. He hits the floor. German look look to come into play. German in for Mason. Lawson come into play. Mismatch down low as Moses is trying to bottle his man down and Lawson drives and goes up for the shot and draws a foul. Seven thirty-two left in the first half. Forty to twenty-two. Lawson makes the first. Lawson makes both of them on that trip. 20-point game. All in the hands of the Titans. Green. Shaking and making on Underhill. Takes it. 14-footer. Good. Eighteen point advantage of Titans way. High post. Working on Lee, driving left side. Layup does not fall, but we had a foul. Samir for the Titans with a push. Forty two twenty four, seven oh four left. Jaguars trailed by as many as 22 in the first half. Benjamin for three, straight away. Off the heel of the iron and pulling down the rebound. Back to the Jaguars. And German will head to the free throw line. German makes the first, 42-25. German. As to his 64% on the season for the charity stripe by making both of those. Now by 16, the Titans face a full court press for the first time in this half. They break the half, press. Lawson, 14 footer all alone was Lee. Jaguars push ahead in the front court to Anderson. Looking baseline. Nice pass to a trailer Lee, and Lee cannot connect with it. Jaguars come up empty on the offensive side, Wall. With the step on his man, pulls back, 14-footer, no, and coming down with it into Jag. They'll push it ahead, one on two, and Anderson goes up strong. Defense. 
six to one run here for the Jags. Lee, nice defense on Moses and Jaguars. 10. Jaguars fighting back. Now my 12. And down as many as 22 in this half. Got a timeout. 42 to 30. Jaguars trail the Titans. You're listening to Jaguars basketball on Jaguars Sports Network. Family Dentistry, we are honored to serve the community of Apex by providing honest, compassionate dental care. We focus on preventative care and education to make sure all of our patients enjoy optimal dental health, and we offer judgment-free treatment if you're in need of a corrective procedure. Dr. Barker and the rest of the Cardinal Family Dentistry team want to be a resource for you when it comes to your dental health, so we always keep you well-informed and offer honest guidance to help you make the best decisions for you and your family. Give them a call today at 919-589-5001. That's 919-589-5001. Or visit them online at cardinalfamilydentistry.com. One in three adults in America have pre 